Hello, my name is Shannon Kyles, and I'm here to introduce the third video in the series In Praise of Older Windows. In this video, we're going to take a look at a traditional wooden window and the various parts that make up that window. And the reason for this is that in newer windows, the whole window has to be replaced. Once you have an old window, then you can take it apart and the various portions of it can be restored or refurbished or in some cases taken out and replaced, but the look of the window, the character of the window is maintained. So once you've taken apart an older wooden window, you can keep the character of a house and the character of the property, like the beautiful one behind me. Hello, my name is Alan Stacey and I'm Principal of uh, Heritage Mill Historic Building Conservation based out of Dundas, Ontario. And I'm here uh, briefly to discuss uh, how heritage windows can be saved and also how they can be improved uh, thermally to, to uh, meet or exceed a modern window. So I do uh, sometimes wonder when people do decide to have their windows changed over that, uh, like I say, they, they sign the contract and the people come in and uh, they, they go to work as normal in the morning and come back and see their new windows installed. Generally it happens in a day, it's pretty quick work. And I just wonder how many people do actually return home and look at the house and realise that they've probably made a mistake that they've lost something fundamental about the house. They've certainly lost uh, the three-dimensionalness of a heritage window. They've also lost the quality of a heritage window. And I just want to demonstrate that. This would be a pretty typical joint on a modern wooden window. Uh, there's a couple of dowels and, and small uh, stub dowels. And this is what uh, they would have on their original windows and how they can also be replicated too. And, and it's pretty obvious to see the, the fundamental difference. Um, so like I say, I do wonder because this, this joinery will not last long term and neither will the quality of wood now compared to a heritage window. So let's start with this cross section of a traditional sash window. Uh, although this is obviously a modern window, this, all these techniques can actually be retrofitted to a period window too, so just to make that clear. So if we uh, take this window apart, we can see that in the bottom rail here we put in a uh, silicon compression seal and also on the meeting rail here. When that's actually into the win window, and the window comes down and closes. You can see quite clearly here how that compression seal will obviously seal any drafts. And likewise here on the meeting rail once the sash lock is uh, engaged. Uh, furthermore, if we look to here, we can see that on the uh, staff bead or stop bead as they say in Canada, we have a uh, brush slide here. Again, this acts as a very good draft proofer. It also acts as a gasket. So when you have the seasonal changes of the wood, uh, i.e. it shrinks in the winter and expands in the summer. Uh, the, the window doesn't stick in the summer and it doesn't get rattly in the winter. Like I said, it acts as a gasket. So if we take that to one side and bring in the full-size uh, complete model, we can also see that with the addition of a storm window, one can uh, have a double glazed window without all the inherent faults that a modern window has. Uh, so there you have your double pane glass. Uh, you don't necessarily need to take a storm off come the uh, summer. You can if it's a ground floor window, it's relatively easy. You can just unhook it and pop it away. And come the season change, you can pop it back again. Now, uh, obviously that's not very feasible on the second story and I can understand that, which is why we make them hanging and the fact that you can lock them open. There you have your, your, your uh, breeze and you can open and close your window and just put in a small screen here which can either be custom made out of wood or you can even use a concertina one from, uh, you can buy from a priority store. And the other interesting thing with this window is obviously it shows you how a sash window works, not something that people generally get to see. You can see how it works on weights. Very, very um, basic uh, engineering and pretty well faultless. Uh, the only thing that will uh, eventually go is, is the cords will break eventually. Um, but with a good quality cord, you're looking at least 25 years before that's going to happen. And again, you can feel here, you can hear that uh, brush slide and absolutely no rattle whatsoever. And there's your compression seal on the bottom. And when you tighten up your sash lock, there's your compression seal there, absolutely no play whatsoever. So that's in a nutshell. Like I say, that can be done on a, a replica window. It could also be done on, on existing heritage windows when, once they're restored. Thank you very much for your time. So I've just seen Alan Stacy take apart one of his gorgeous wooden windows, and you can see how easy it is to replace all or part of a window and maintain the historic character of a home. If you are getting email and spam of uh, window people trying to sell you new windows or you're getting those annoying dinnertime calls from people trying to replace all your windows, 
How far do you have to go to think that this is perhaps a bit of a scam? Replacing windows has become big business. There's a lot of money in it and no one cares because they never see what goes to the landfill.